So I went home for the weekend to visit my parents, and on Saturday I went out to get the mail. And I'm going through the mailbox, and there's nothing interesting in there because the only thing in our mailbox is bills, and there's never anything for me except more bills and weird credit card reports. And I'm standing there going through it, and this car pulls up next to me. And I turn around, and this lady rolls down her window, and she's like, Um, excuse me, why are you going through those people's mailbox? And I'm like, Excuse me? Why are you going through those people's mailbox? Do you have a hearing problem? I'm gonna need you to calm it down, just calm it down. And I'm like, um, I live here. This is my parents' house. And she's like, No, no you don't. White people live there. Don't you lie to me. I'm gonna need you. And I'm like, um, no, I, I really do live there. That's, that, that's my parents' house. And she's like, I'm gonna call the cops right now if you don't get out of here. I think she, oh no she did. Did she just, uh, uh, oh hell to the no, hell to the no honey. And I was like, no, I'm checking the mail for my parents. And she's like, I have met the people that live there. They are very nice people and they are white. You do not live here. You are not white like them. See now I'm adopted so my family's white and I'm mixed. I know that a lot of people can't understand the idea of interracial families, but believe it or not, we do exist. Mulatto. Mulatto. And just so y'all know, mulatto babies are the cutest babies out there. No exceptions. So I ended up showing her my driver's license, and as soon as I did, her whole mood and persona sort of, like, changed. Like, this realization came over her, and she had this, like, total, like, weird, like, 180 degree, I don't know, mind shift or something. At first she was just like, Oh. Wow. Well. And then she got even angrier. She's like, Wow. Well. I'm not from around here, and there's been a lot of mailbox theft in this area. Uh, I was like, nah, nah, why would I go through someone's mailbox? There ain't nothing in there but bills. You can look at it yourself. And uh, how the hell could you know that there was mailbox theft in this area if you ain't even live here? That don't make sense. That don't make sense at all. So you better get your story straight. And then she's like, Well, mailbox theft is a big problem in our society nowadays. A uh, bitch, who is gonna steal your mail? These people. And she's got this little kid with her there, this little kid in the front seat, and she's yelling over the passenger seat at him, and he's just staring at me like it's my fault he never met his father. Maybe it was a girl. Was it a girl? It's never a good thing if you can't tell whether it's a boy or a girl. So, I was literally standing there, like, arguing with her for, like, three whole minutes, and finally she's just like, Well, I gotta go. I was dropping off Girl Scout cookies. Bye! I'm just like... don't know who people think they is nowadays. She be accusing me of stealing white people's mail, but she didn't give me any cookies. She didn't even apologize. I mean, you can't just, you can't, that's racial profiling, you know. Usually I don't let that type of stuff bother me too much, but this time it was a little more offensive because it was kind of like the first time I've really been confronted for something. The ignorance of some people, I mean, the ignorance of people who just think that just because I'm black and my family is white, that I just must be stealing their mail because the only thing in my parents' mailbox is bills, so obviously I just want to steal their mail. My parents' reaction to this was probably the worst of all because their response was, Oh, it's so nice that somebody is looking out for us and making sure no one steals our mail. Mother. See now, I don't know why this always happens to me. It always seems to happen to me. In that neighborhood, since I moved in there four years ago, it has always been like this. I have gotten the cops called on me numerous times because I'm a runner and I run in the neighborhood. And you know, whenever there's a black guy running in the neighborhood, white people be like, I'm gonna steal all your stuff. You know they do. Because, you know, I'm just totally trying to draw attention to myself when I'm wearing nothing except booty shorts. Duh. My parents' reaction to all of that, too, is just <laughs> astounding. For Christmas, my mother bought me a construction worker's jacket with blinking lights. So when I run, I blink. I don't even know why I bother giving my mother a Christmas list, because she ain't ever get me anything off of it. So to all you black folks out there, be careful. If you get your mail, you might get the cops called on you. Oh, my daddy's calling. Hello? Hi. No. <laughs> so ironically, daddy wanted to find out if there were any keys in my car because he said that there were some creepy people lurking around the neighborhood. I don't know why I always seem to end up in these weird situations, but this stuff just always seems to happen to me. But, you know, all you can really do is build a bridge and get over it, so that's what I have done. But the one thing, 
the one thing that I can just not get over, the one thing that just irks me, that just pisses me off, that just really steams my broccoli, is that after all of this, after everything I was accused of by this lady, after all the turmoil and emotional mental pain that she put me through, I didn't even get any cookies. She'd be delivering Girl Scout cookies all over the neighborhood, and she didn't even give me a box of cookies after she accused me of stealing some nice white people's mail, even though the mail was all bills, and then it turned out to be that I wasn't even stealing them because I lived there, and she didn't even give me any cookies. All I wanted was some cookies. That would have made up for the whole thing, but no, she just drove off all embarrassed. She didn't even give me any cookies. I want some cookies. I need those cookies, especially the Samoas, because, you know... Mm. Anyway, that's really my story and all this, so... I hope you all had a better day than me. Talk to y'all later. Bye!